So I think it's um, important that the pilot understands that ultimately um, he's responsible, he or she is responsible for the safety of the aircraft. So if you're on an assigned heading in an assigned altitude, that is, um, in your opinion as a pilot, putting you too close to proximity to, say, a significant weather cell or something like that, then we need to know that from you. So our expectation is that you would let feed back to us that, that you are uncomfortable. And that's something that I think uh, generally the air carrier community is real solid with. But um, as, a, as a general aviation pilot, you might be reluctant to deviate from an assigned heading or altitude, when in fact, that's perfectly reasonable. We just need to know what you think you need and, uh, and communicate that to us as soon as you can so we can plan accordingly. The best defense is always a good offense. And to have a, uh, a, a real thoroughly briefed, solid plan A and an honest and responsible plan B. And to have those well developed before you uh, put the keys in the ignition is always going to be a much better situation. All too often, we've uh, uh, been back through the chain of events that leads to an accident. And I hear a tape where a controller is negotiating with a uh, pilot over plan B while they're en route and already in very severe trouble. And so those types of things are best avoided before you launch.